The problem with the Charlotte Highway system. The problem with the Charlotte Highway system is that there are several bottlenecks in the system. A bottleneck is when that you know multiple lanes merge into one lane. This can be seen by this interchange with Interstate 485 and 85. So for this ramp from 485 Inner onto I-85 South, there's two lanes, and with an extra lane coming in from 485 Outer. These lanes all merge into the one lane over here. It's, it's shown here. You see, you see here are like three lanes that are now merging into one. As a result, this creates major traffic jams at almost all times of the day. Let's see if there's traffic jam right now. And what do you know? There's a traffic jam. Also, a more, a more major example of this is, you know, this section of Interstate 77. On the South Carolina side, Interstate 77 is four lanes on each side, as shown here. Like, see? One, two, three, four. And also, there's traffic from Interstate 485 in the South, south coming up. See? Traffic from 485 is like, five is like two lanes on this way, plus, you know, four lanes from Interstate 77 in the South. So, what happens is that all these lanes, you know, you see all of these lanes are here? They all, you know, merge into like lesser lanes, which as a result causes traffic. See, and here's like an example of all the merging that happens. And, well, as a result, there's you no, know, there are multiple traffic jams on this interstate. At you no, know, to be like almost all of the day. So, also, towards the, towards the north of Charlotte, there is you know, there's always traffic on like this section of highway. So a major issue with this section of Interstate 77 is that you know the center section is a toll road, and you know the outer sections are free. As a result, the free like the sections that are free are almost always you no know, backed with traffic. You see right here, and you know the street car went, the street view car went at a better time of day. But still, there's usually just massive amounts of traffic towards at these three lanes, and not that much in these two inner lanes. It's, you know, oh, there's an older pick. Anyways, yeah, it's an older pick. You see, like you know, when Charlotte Charlotte was smaller, like this is what the road looked like, and nowadays. It looks like this. So what happened here was these center two lanes were you now are owned by a private company, and that company is incentivized to make the amount of traffic on these three lanes worse as it can, so that customers like are like have to like take these lanes whenever like they want to get somewhere, and especially uh, that if you know people are in a rush, they ha usually don't you know, take these inner lanes, and so yeah, not the though. I'm saying you know, not the best situation still. Really no. no, I really love the page. This Google likes to do that. So anyway, so yeah, that's there's also some of the issues with Charlotte's highway system. And oh, yeah, and you know, also you know, it, there could be argued like for like this road over here is a major you know cluster frick because you know there's traffic from uh, this part of Charlotte that has to get into this. Part and so like so also like all this traffic is funneled through you know U.S. Route seventy four and so uh, yeah it's not very savory and you think problems are done now nope and there's still just everything is funneled onto like two seventy seven and you know the highways we talked about earlier Interstate seventy seven and seventy four like everything is funneled onto this massive like inner city like no I mean downtown freeway like. The whole thing could be described as one big interchange around uptown. Okay. And, you know, traffic from I-85 you know, has to navigate all of this to get into Charlotte. Also, you know what could be a fix for all of this? Trains. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you uh, next time if you like making a video. Bye.